Good day. We're going to look into the planet of Saturn, which is ruled by Capricorn. However, it is in the sign of Aquarius. It's retro in Aquarius until the end of December 2022. <sighs> <laughs> We're going to do some real live spiritual warfare right now. Spiritual warfare is on 10. You don't feel it? You do not have any feelings. <laughs> For real. The spiritual warfare on 10 10. Let's see what the fuck he's talking about. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers. I appreciate it. So, this is for Capricorn. However, Saturn is in Aquarius. Retro. Got my favorite Zach Blend out. Cosmic Tarot and an African American deck. See what Saturn is going to be whooping ass about. Because you know he's the whoop ass planet. Give it up for Pop Smoke. He got his candle burning on his birthday. He on some hide and shit. <laughs> Gonna teach a couple people a couple lessons. Temperance, Five of Cups. Oh boy. And the moon. You already know. More hidden bullshit. What Capricorn got to look forward to, Spirit? Some of you may have Saturn in Aquarius or Saturn in Capricorn. Six of Swords moving away from Cozy. Look at that shit. That's Kobe. That's the doctors up there. Some of y'all been standing strong against that shit. <laughs> Moving away, honey. Y'all energy. Ooh, y'all energy on the bottom of the deck. Y'all been slaying some demons. Some of y'all end up in jail. What in the fuck is going on, Capricorn? Let's see. <laughs> Some people may end up in jail from defending their damn self because the spiritual warfare is real. Or end up in prison or jail and don't even know how the fuck you got there. Also, false trumped up fucking charges. I'm trying to tell you exactly. Like, what the fuck? How did this happen? Why is this happening? This is if spiritual warfare was a card. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you don't have your protection game up or you think it's a game. You're going to get hit. Trust and know that. Before you knew it or know it, you know. <laughs> like, damn. Whole ass building crumbling. Some of y'all may be having roof problems, all kind of shit going wrong with y'all house. All kind of shit just coming at you from left and right. That's Father Saturn teaching some lessons. Some of y'all can't even enjoy y'all house because y'all spending too much time trying to fix it or get it together or whatever, save it. Whatever the case may be, some people are having trouble in the home front. Some of y'all may be facing some eviction, forced allegations on that shit. Just a lot of shit going on. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Some of y'all made a choice and decision because of COVID or during COVID to leave a situation. Could have been a house situation or a living situation. It's all solitary energy coming up. Retrogrades, boy. Talking about, oh no. People be so focused on Mercury retrograde, they don't pay attention to no other retrogrades. Five of Cups. Try a little tenderness. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Some of y'all may be taking y'all anger out on people that ain't did shit or going to war with people that ain't, you know, or had nothing to do with the Nine of Swords coming at your ass. 
to me. Y'all could have been involved with a Queen of Wands energy. She's so evil on this card. This lady just smells evil to me. I do not know. Let me y'all. Left a Virgo, a Virgo card in Quiz with y'all. Well, some of y'all called a Quiz with the Queen of Wands. She come out again, but she come out in reverse in the African American deck. Two different decks, same energy. This is the Queen of Wands card in the African American deck. Some of y'all let go of a queen of wands and uh, queen of earth energy. Or a king of wands and a king of earth energy. Mm, whole three sword situation. A oh, funeral, honey. Yeah, man, lost some people to COVID unexpectedly. Just threw y'all all off. Y'all moving on towards something. I don't know, but this card is facing the Three of Swords, so some of y'all may still be grieving someone or something. Focus on y'all bread, bread, and y'all children. Some of y'all may have um, had a new baby or have smaller children, whatever the case may be. You may have it with the Queen of Wands, King of Wands energy, or Queen of Earth, King of Wands, King of Earth, I'm sorry, energy. However, it's all about the money. It's all about the money, money. You ain't with them no more. Mm -hmm. Whole ass left the house situation. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, man, somebody's life I'm reading has been turned upside down. Well, the fortune card, let's see. Mm -hmm. Y'all have to take it through the courts because it's just getting crazy, crazy. Child support, custody battles. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. This is a hot mess. However, Saturn is the father teacher. will teach you some lessons and what you should not do again. And some of y'all are moving in the direction of three of swords. So I don't know if y'all stuck in pain, stuck in hurt, and y'all keep kind of recreating these disastrous as nine of swords dynamics. But I uh, think you better let it go. Cause you don't wanna keep on reinventing the wheel. The wheel of fortune did turn, but he turned right back towards the Six of Swords. So it's like you're moving nowhere, but you made the decision to move out of heartbreak, but you're constantly moving towards it at the same time. So it could be some form of self-sabotage or definitely futility and some shit. And it could be just you can't find your footing for whatever reason. It could be karma. I don't know, y'all, but this is sad. I didn't want it to be, but Saturn, shit. Do you want to learn or no? Whew. Protect yourself at this time, because I'm telling y'all, spiritual warfare is off the meter right now. When I say we in a weird ass space, collectively, we in a weird ass space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Check your blood pressure. It's going to take courage to create some form of good fortune for yourself. You're going to have to use some form of ambition in order to get some form of success and prosperity. But check your blood pressure. Because this seems like a lot going on. This is a check your blood pressure card right here. Y'all rule by the 10th house. Uh, Aquarius ruled by the 11th house. Some of y'all may have let go of social media, I ain't even on there, and that could be affecting y'all business, but it's kind of like y'all had to, because there's just too much going on, and y'all know 
the 10th house is all about reputation and how it looks to the outside world. What I say is if the norm, when you want to think about, people say, you know, what is normal nowadays? My definition of normal or my perception of normal is if, just imagine a camera is always on you. That's how I see Allah or God, however you want to call it. The essence of the divine. Just imagine it's a camera on you all the time. You know what I'm saying? If you kick it like that, then it really don't, you don't have to act one way when you're outside of the house and then act another way inside of your house. So inside of your house is a wreck, but when you or your family or whoever come out in the public, it's all like, it's all together. When you know that's not the truth, that's how you splinter yourself. That's how you split yourself. That's how you really give yourself schizophrenia because you're playing too many characters and too many roles and then you get lost in the motherfuckers. And when that shit happen, you gonna get a nine of swords and a five of pentacles and a five of cups. You gotta keep it 100. So and so. This who I am when I'm off camera. This who I am when I'm on camera. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Somebody got pregnant. Yeah, some of y'all feel like it's a never ending story of baby mamas or baby daddies. They got pregnant by somebody. Ugh, that was the fortune. You know, the, the wheel turns in your favor to get pregnant by somebody you may not even be with. Or just you know a bad idea <laughs> that's for some of y'all it did come out though stalker some of y'all dealing with a stalker that's crazy and then some of y'all dealing with an admirer that's pure at heart some of y'all may be a little crazy you know what i'm saying whatever the case is they watch you on social media taurus virgo capricorn or they try to get to you on a fifth dimension. But I don't pick up that this person is pure. I pick up that this person is kind of like a stalker. And trying to come in with a hook line. You know what I'm saying? On some DMing you shit. Asking for a date. Or if some of y'all are still on social media. Some of y'all may have got off of social media. Because you couldn't decipher. That's what this two of pentacles in reverse is kind of point now you couldn't decipher who was pure at heart and who the fuck was crazy as a motherfucker so some of y'all may have a lot of people asking y'all out on dates or something but they ain't got no pure intention i'm trying to tell you that come up under the justice card call the police like a motherfucker yeah y'all trying to find out who good and who bad you know what i'm saying gut feelings on people i'm picking up women you know, it could be women that don't know who good or who bad, so you just let up off of it. Don't even respond to DMs and shit like that no more because it's just too, you don't know. You know, people just be switching up, be half crazy, act like this one day, act like that another. Mm -hmm. Someone close to you sold you out. But some of y'all may be dealing with a lot of betrayals, you know. Some of y'all could have had a baby with somebody that betrayed y'all. Or y'all looking at the pregnancy as a form of betrayal, especially if you didn't want children. And they just kind of forced it on you. Men trap women with babies, just like women trap men with babies. This shit is not, and there's no holes barred. This particular dispensation of time. It don't even matter your sex. Everybody acting stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb. <sighs> Reaping season. It's an abundance card. Some of y'all may have been abundant and they went after y'all money or went after y'all work ethic or just peed you if you popular online or you got a career. Whatever the case may be, these motherfuckers is going for some money. They looking for who can work so they don't have to kind of situation. I'm just telling y'all the truth. So be careful just answering DMs and thinking it's the 80s because it's not. People are some wicked shit. For real. I ain't even capping. I ain't trying to scare nobody or be no drag because I'm I try to stay as positive as possible but some shit just, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. You can't be blind to it. To be blind to it is how you get hit. 
acting like it don't exist. Some of y'all are just overwhelmed. I know Capricorn. When y'all get overwhelmed, y'all shut the fuck down. Some of y'all just shut it down. Change your number, got on social media, just because you don't recognize life as it is now because we moved into a new age. It's just like, damn, who the fuck is who and what is what? Some of y'all lost a Virgo or a Queen of Wands energy that was 100%. You know what I'm saying? Solid. You may have lost them because you was out here looking amongst, like I say, Cupid's Draconians. And you had a diamond sitting there the whole time. And now you like, oh, why are these motherfuckers crazy? Especially if you end up with a baby. It could be for women too. Lost the uh, earth sign or fire sign energy. Thinking that it's, you know what I'm saying, something out here. And go out here and end up in a whole ass situation. Mm -hmm. Four wands, that's the home front. High priestess. Some of y'all may have been involved with somebody that had a gift of intuition and told y'all. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all could have had a queen of wands with the gift of intuition. Told y'all. Yes. 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 Now listen. That's Father Saturn. Whew. You living, you learning like a motherfucker. Please learn. Don't just keep living and not learning. That ain't, that's how you get a six of wands in both roles and the wheel of fortune. So it's kind of like a lesson in futility. You ain't going nowhere. Your tires just spinning. Mm -hmm. Ace of swords. Some of y'all trying to get to the bottom of something. And it's really these tricky ass fucking energy. Seven of swords. Demi urges. Stealing y'all from people. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get y'all, you know what I'm saying? To come up out of a relationship that's harmonious and steady and solid. Then you end up with some weird ass person that's trying to trap you with a baby so that you can work for the rest of your life for them so they can sit fat on the hog just like she's sitting. The other person was standing with you more than likely and you end up in a situation with a demi urge. Somebody that sold you out. I really feel like the sellout is a pregnancy. Tower situation. Yeah, y'all just feel like y'all read the towers right now. Y'all trying to get to the truth for some shit. And that's on two. That's on the seven and the seven. The tower is 16. That's the seven. That's the seven. That's mystery. Y'all trying to get to the bottom of some shit. But y'all may not start seeing the real, for real, for real, for real truth until y'all birthday time, around y'all birthday time. Into December, into January, where everything going to be laid bare. And you really going to be looking like this. Somebody go fuck around. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take y'all to the cleaners, you know, on some real shit. Some of y'all was really in love or in a union with a queen of wands or a high priestess kind of energy. And y'all moved away. Y'all really moved away. Y'all got, some of y'all got stuck on money being like real, um, like the seven deadly sins kind of being greedy and stingy and shit. And now y'all realizing, damn, what the fuck? Yeah, man, y'all leaving people left and right. Damn. I'm talking about, <laughs> listen to me, honey. I'm focused on y'all children. Some of y'all trying to get there, but it ain't easy. Look at this. You got the six of swords and the chariot right next to each other. If I don't say getting the fuck out of somewhere, honey, please. And then you sitting up there like this with your money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just like, fuck everybody. I'm with the money. But the devil is involved. You know, some of y'all may still be just sleeping with people for money. Or, you know, just for pleasure, cheap pleasure and moving on. But that shit keep you in a ten of swords energy. You know what I'm saying? It's affecting your money. It's affecting your love life. You know, that's the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. And then she looked pregnant. So some of y'all either had a baby or somebody pregnant trying to figure out is it yours. But y'all steadily walking away. That's crazy, crazy. And some people may feel like they got the victory just because they got a baby with you and they get some form of 
financial help. I mean, you kicking people out like an umpire, baby. Strong, you know what I'm saying? Death to situations. Like, get out kind of shit. You pulling people out and tell them, get the fuck out. Learning hella lessons, hermit energy, and clarity and focus. Children on this card, you know. A two bit hustlers, yeah. Fluctuating finances, awareness, intelligent discernment, weighing your options. Hard to make some form of progress, but I feel like um, clarity going to come. All the answers you want going to come around your birthday time, Capricorn. There's still an era of mystery, so y'all may have been friends with a lot of people or sleeping with a lot of people and then now they just they yo your discernment picking up weird you know just weird ass vibes people you thought you knew you really don't know just in a negative headspace eat more fruits and vegetables this week be brave yeah, that's the same energy. Miserly mess. That's the word I was looking for. Some of y'all turn miser, but you can't do that. Mm-hmm. Y'all know y'all the kings and queens of patience. So have some patience with the situation, but don't turn into no miser or to no embittered motherfucker because that shit will kill you. Really keep having some high blood pressure. Yeah, new vision. That's what some of y'all waiting on, too. A new vision for your life because it's just everything y'all knew is, is busted and disgusting. That's for somebody. Mm -hmm. Y'all may be looking for maturity in people and cannot find it. They just silly ass demi urges. I'm trying to tell you these motherfuckers ain't got two cents in their head. Ain't shit clicking up in that motherfucker. Nothing. Postponement. Whew. Yeah. Y'all try like y'all trying to move forward, but it's not working. Oof, honey. This is deep, Capricorn. I'm gonna have to come back to this because uh we got a lot of this energy going on until December or January. But I tell you one thing, once Saturn goes direct. Baby, y'all is going to be so mature. Y'all vision going to be corrected. And it's postponement prayerfully. Let me, let me pull up from here and see what this postponement is about. This is a tower. Y'all know y'all got to wait. You got to have some patience. The shit just ain't going the way that it, it was, you know? It ain't cohesive. It ain't flowing. It's kind of choppy. Shit's still unclear. A real a whole lot of fucking chaos and stupid shit. Just be careful who you sleeping with at this time. Mm-hmm. Ten of swords. The postponement coming because y'all too damn hurt. From all this motherfucking struggle and strife. Like, it's just too much. And I know Capricorn, y'all, y'all motherfucking asses will shut it down. Two of Cups energy. Yeah, you want somebody that's mature. And that's what you're going to end up attracting once you release all this silly ass, toxic ass, Decepticon ass energy, y'all. Mm-hmm. The struggle and strike, you always fighting and shit. Just deception, you know? And then the wheel come again, and then when the wheel come again, it comes in you and the King of Cups energy. So some of y'all, you know, gonna end up falling in love. That's gonna be the new vision for your life. And prayerfully, if I see y'all somebody that y'all want and not somebody y'all just settling for with just cheap thrills, cheap pleasures, can't make a connection, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all lost somebody because of all of the drama in your life and y'all gotta start over anew. I'm not feeling like somebody is here. Like, people moved on, you know? Yeah. 
And some some people may have sabotaged the relationship y'all was in and they didn't even realize to the you know, they don't they didn't understand the amount of magic because that ain't shit but somebody conjuring some shit up her. You see how she like, Oh my god, what did I do? It's exposed. You know what I'm saying? This is what you did. Doing too much like a motherfucker. Something happened in twenty nineteen. Something started in 2019, and y'all now just, you know what I'm saying, adjusting to it a little bit. But I feel like a lot of y'all are traumatized like a motherfucker. From whatever the fuck 2019 brought to y'all life, it could have been a person. But people didn't want that to happen. I feel like it's some feminine energies. Could have been some masculine energies that y'all had children with. And just did not want that union to happen and they worked overtime and some of y'all could have took it lightly and now y'all see like damn you know what i'm saying especially if y'all was with a high priestess energy that told y'all like look these people don't like us they trying to attack us they trying to kill us or whatever the case y'all know y'all don't believe shit until y'all see it like yeah 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 i hear you but i'm the big bad motherfucker like okay Nice when y'all like this. I had a, a premonition about this reading. Mm -hmm. You know, I think shit be, people be just talking. The shit don't be real. So y'all see it. The only y'all see it, y'all go in the shutdown, devastation mode. And that's what Father Saturn is teaching preventive measures, you know? Take prevention. Don't just leave caution to the wind. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to do that. I'm going to get you an oracle message and we'll get a part of it. Well, my intuition told y'all some shit y'all did not listen. About a person, place, or thing. Y'all did not listen to y'all own good. Now y'all seeing. God damn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could have lost somebody that was really beautiful inside and out because y'all just did not listen to y'all intuition being stubborn like a goat you know you had the choice some of y'all just made the wrong choice is like a mom mm -hmm. switched stuff on somebody now you dealing with the aftermath of that shit message for Capricorn there is this amazing watching all right Eleven of others are yes. Yeah. Oracle message, please. Change. Again. Yeah, some of y'all was with a kindred spirit. I don't feel like y'all with them now. Y'all gonna meet somebody else, but I just don't feel like y'all with them now. Their intentions was pure. They was some of them was a healer. Some of them was channelers, may have talked to some of y'all ancestors and told y'all certain shit. You just, some of y'all reflecting on that shit. You know? For real. Mm -hmm. This person may have been like a sanctuary to you. Their intentions was pure. They was healers. Some of them could have been channelers because the high priestess card kept coming out. So they may have told you something. You ain't believe it, ain't take it for face value. Now you some of y'all are reflecting on that shit. Uh, baby is definitely involved. You know? It could have changed the whole course of what the fuck y'all had going on. That was good in nature, but just fumbled the ball like a motherfucker. Let's see. Change. Her windswept stroke wrapped closely a girl braces against a blustery autumn autumn gale okay a daffodil tucked behind her ear symbolizes the remembrance and optimism of spring new life and the inevitable cycles of nature twilight fast approaches as the last rays of the setting sun melt into a sultry rose hue a canopy of tiny stars will soon illuminate the evening sky yeah, so I'm going to be illuminated. I'm telling y'all around y'all birthday. Shepherds may well delight in such a sky as it could portend a brighter day to follow. The tree will soon shed its leaves and the upturned root suggests it has already endured many changes. An owl wisely observing the scene from the barren shelter of its boughs waits for the winds to pass. This y'all all day. 
The presence of this car signals change on the horizon. Like the falling leaves and twilight sky depicted, a cycle has reached its natural conclusion. Nature reveals that the only constant in life is change itself. By wisely accepting and embracing change, you allow the old to gracefully pass in order to make way for a new growth. If change is needed, you can delight in the adventure of a new phase. But if you cling too tightly to the past and carry attachments that no longer serve your highest good, tests may arise. Hmm. That's what y'all are doing, clinging to the past. Let's cling to the past. Dear, come on, I just didn't show y'all. Carrying attachments that no longer serve your highest good, tests may arise. So that's why it looked like y'all stuck in a, you know, futility. Because tests gonna keep coming at your ass and people gonna keep attacking you and shit gonna keep happening because you don't wanna move forward into a new mindset or a new way of being. You cannot change the past, it's gone, change is constant, so just keep it moving and be patient so that the winds of change can do what they need to do so that you can see, you know what I'm saying, the truth of whatever the fuck happened. Because I'm just picking up a lot of shit going on. Change always comes bearing new gifts, but the but they may or may not be what you imagine. At times, we are powerless to affect change, as it is the very nature of life itself. Faith is a part of the ballast that stabilizes us against unpredictable twists and turns in life and helps us adapt to unforeseen challenges. You are always free to choose how best to handle change, but by seeking out the relevant wisdom it brings, you venture forward joyously with hope in your heart and a spring in your stride. So around springtime, 2023, y'all should be seeing some, um, some real change. You just gotta be patient. Y'all know Father Saturn is all about patience. And y'all know all about patience too, because y'all one of the most patient signs in the zodiac. So stay strong, Kathy. Stay strong, whoever this resonates for, because Saturn is definitely teaching some hell of five lessons all the way till uh, December 2022, the end of December. All right, y'all. I pray this helps someone. Love and light.